Hello everyone, E here. Today I'm gonna to do some more work on the Hogwarts castle. So without further ado, let's uh, get into it. First off, I removed this module so I can have better access to this foyer of the Great Hall. And what I wanted to do was to add additional two slots for knights, as you see. All the knights have been removed and I added one more knight podium here and one more here. That gives me a total of 16 knights. First we have a row of four, then another six, then another four and two more up there. Let me tell you, it was pretty difficult to take this whole thing apart in well, various chunks and then having to install these two ga uh, gaps here that are exactly the same. It was, um, well, not as bad as I thought, but it was quite time consuming and glad that that's over. So why did I do that? Additional to uh, two more knights, I want to change the knights a little bit. This is the knight that it looks like currently, and it looks fine. But uh, it's a bit simplistic and I was planning to really keep them this way, but I happened to stumble on some nice parts, such as cheaply as well, such as this breastplate, this slightly, well, better looking sword, which my camera doesn't like for some reason. Maybe if I place it down, there we go. And this helmet which is actually a visor attached to a biker's helmet in gray. So actually looks pretty nice. And I managed to get quite a few of those for a very cheap price. So I'm planning to take all these knights, add two more and transform them into, well, something else. And here is what the new lights look like. And here we go with the knights placed. I actually decided to make the left side this way and the other side mirrored because this sword here was hitting this part here of the proclamation. So this is a lot better now. It's pretty, pretty nice, I'd say. Small thing, but I feel like I'll keep making such improvements as time goes on to various uh, parts of the castle. Well, my camera doesn't seem to like this zooming in and out. But yeah, so much for that. And now that the knights are done, let's move to something else. And that something else will be the whole gates. As you might notice, well, they look kind of ugly. And by ugly, I mean this whole nonsense here. Different colors. Not to mention that these colors are also visible. Like this, see the gray here, the tan here. All that will need to be changed. And I'll make sure to add texture or at least the possibility of texture on the back side as well. In order to achieve that, I will use plenty of these one by twos in red and brown, which have these uh, profiles here, these modified snot studs over here on both sides. These are pretty expensive, but I managed to finally get thousand of these so I'm set for the near future so let's get all this taken apart and add the new structure and see how the gates will look like afterwards I just removed one of them and yeah here is what it looks like before on the old gate and this is what it looks like now 
and we have this on both sides and here it is with the texture we really like how this texture really stays together it's really nice i think it's a very elegant solution so the question would be how to use this extra texture possibility here should i do it the same way as here should we do it differently i don't know either way it won't really be visible much you know because you won't be seeing this from the inside too much but maybe slightly differently i know that the inside of the gates there are like different ways to shut them down as shown in the sixth film uh, so maybe it should be a bit different but we'll see what parts i have and Maybe if I don't have anything that uh, I find nice currently, I will uh, leave the inward texture for another time. But yeah, let's make the other wing and place them back together. And there we go. Both gates are finished. We'll see how uh, the back texture will turn out. I think I will try something different or maybe even something quite a bit more creative but we'll see if I will really like it before I show it at all so yeah now the gates seem a lot better all in brown doesn't and nothing shows really so it's really good and when we move this over here The difference will be quite noticeable, I'd say. Just need a little bit to lift it here. There we go. Good stuff. You know, the other thing I want to try is over here and place the assigned window. And the reason I haven't placed it yet is because I don't really like this shape here. Um, it's a bit weird, only seven studs, it's not an even number, and also all the pictures I've seen, this should be kind of a bit lower than this, so I'll try to use different arches maybe, see what kind of form I can achieve, and this, and this shape should be a little bit lower, maybe like here. So I'll try to see what I can find as uh, a different option here and see if I like it better than this and here it is the finished side here in the window follows pretty much the same pattern um, I tried to make sure to be really faithful to the original as this window here is slightly lower than these ones although the base is on the same horizontal level and we have uh, two kind of splits here down the middle instead of three sections the only thing I'm not happy with is that in my version I have three rows columns or whatever you want to call them of windows in the original there are five but simply the math does not really support that and I tried different variations and for the time being I just couldn't really figure out how to fit five equal of width windows um, in this space and I don't think it can be done uh, it can be done with three equal ones and two that are slightly uh, bigger but it just doesn't look right I tried different things and this is the best version really that I can come up with and although it's not five columns it's three I don't think it's that much of a big deal so over here the arch I changed the arches with the ones that are here and again I've killed them with these elements here it's pretty expensive again and I've added two rows just to support the overall kind of look and whether this will stay and I'll put something else for the time being I think it's fine so pretty much uh, happy with I've tried uh, a version here where the kind of border is a little bit um, to the back I like here not sure if I'll like it maybe I'll just go back to this one uh, put this one for now and might change it to represent just like everything else but we'll see maybe I'll revert these pieces here to be a little bit towards the back and other than that this side is pretty much done I just want to add some more uh, dark tan here and there maybe 
some more pyramid pyramid uh, one by ones um other than that um i think it's pretty much good and here are the windows lit up as you might notice the lights over here in the foyer are a bit different because the actual lighting units are separate so they don't match but that's a problem for another time and also the roof here is not lit up properly as all the wiring has been really removed from alongside the whole roof because i'll have to uh, remove it anyway very soon in order to work on the other side and with that pretty much concludes my update for this time around thank you for watching and for the order support please like share and subscribe it really helps my channel to grow i will see you very very soon as there is a lot more work to go to this castle and pretty much the whole other side needs to be converted into this texture also some other minor changes that might be coming is upgrading over here and maybe we'll see what i'll do about the towers or the roof as maybe they will have to be changed a little bit at least to support this new overall structure you will see me again in the next two weeks or so as i try to put out content on the pretty much even intervals until then happy building thanks for watching and I'll see you very, very soon. Stay healthy. Bye for now.